the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the Barmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Well, folks, talk about yet another episode of my Football Manager 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And yes, there will be no face cam today. Uh, running a bit behind time. Got something coming right around the corner. I don't have enough time to set, to set up and tear down my green screen and, and get dressed and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we're going to go rogue this time. Um... Just for the one, just for the one episode. So, but let's bring you up to speed. The one and only game that you had missed, and that was the Everton game, uh, which we won one nil at Ewood Park. The one and only goal coming from Duarte, who headed that one home. Uh, Everton did lose a man, uh, Tom Davies, uh, with a red card a little bit later on, but uh, the the damage was already done. So in this one, it's a double header up against Arsenal in the Premier League, and then it's up against Liverpool in the second leg of the semi-final in the Carabao Cup. So here we are, folks, up against the Gunners. We played each other 28 times. They've won 11, we've won nine. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna we're gonna level the playing field before the season comes to a close or before the series comes to a close, because I think this is the last time that we'll be playing them. Um, yeah, the the season is uh, well underway. Uh, the transfer we did make one transfer. Uh, well, a couple, a couple of little bad boys, a couple of little little youngsters, which have no real relevance in the grand scheme of things. Uh, Milan Stefanovic, we brought this young Serbian in, goalkeeper, uh, could go as high as four stars maybe with a good, with a bit of luck. Uh, Ryan Robertson, a Scotsman, 18 years old, could play down the left hand side of midfield, maybe an attacking mid as well. Again, uh, could go as high as four stars. Jesper Odin, this guy's pretty hot. Hot topic, Norwegian superstar could go all the way anywhere down the middle. Um, he might get a few games uh, this season. We'll see. And then Callum McDonald from Hibs, another youngster. Again, these pr predominantly were uh, were made. I don't know. I don't know. What, I, you know, I, they, they were made for the future investments of the club. Obviously, I am leaving, but I'm going to try and leave them with some good prospects because we might do a, like a 10 years later video and maybe some of these guys will become superstars. Uh, but anyway, so up against Arsenal. Now, they come into this in sixth spot, a good portion behind us, quite a good, nearly 20-odd nearly points behind us. We're actually one point behind Manchester City. So this is a big, big game. City take on Swansea. Chelsea play tomorrow, I believe. So we're the early kickoff. Um, so let's get this one done and see if we can get some results and some points. So we are going to play with a 4-4-1-1 because it's out there gaff. We're going to play a little bit cautiously, uh, just just to kind of feel our way into this game. Um, Angus Gunn will go in between the sticks, or will he? No, we're not. We're going to put Dave Lane because Dave Lane has been pretty decent. Petrucci, Gasic, Ruiz, Nesbitt, Flitchett, William, Fernandez, Trinkau, Straudas, and Rollhauser up top. Uh, Duarte on the bench, so is Garcia. Mark White and Gunn. So some big, big bad boy uh, players on the bench should we need to go there. It is at the Emirates, and they're going to start with a 4-1-4-1. Declan Rice is El Capitano. Van der Heide is a decent player as well. Uh, Mason Mount, Cottrell and Nelson. Root, Reese Nelson, so familiar familiar players there. Josh Timmon, Toto X-Rover as well. And Joubert up top. All right, let's go. In our yellows, they're in their familiar red and white bits and pieces. Chance for Rovers, corner. Bundled in by Edgar Ruiz. He likes getting involved in those corner positions. Uh, set pieces and all that. He didn't use his noggin this time. He used his feet. So it's quick feet. Less than two minutes on the clock. Headed on by Flinch, it looks like. Ruiz was there to hammer home. We'll give him a bit of praise for that. So right now, as it stands, we are back. Top of the pops, boys. It was just a one defeat. That was against Chelsea, but here come Arsenal. Let's not roll them out just yet. Uh, as they press with Nelson, fires it in over the top of everybody. Nesbitt cleans up, lobs it down the middle towards Rollhauser. Rice picks it up, though, for, for Arsenal. Toto looping ball. 
Patuccio, one of the best left backs in the game, fires it towards Rollhauser, who holds up play expertly. Fernandez looking for an option, and it's Trincao on the right. Tries to get across and gets a second crack at it. Flintship pulls it back for Patuccio's all over the place. And here comes Arsenal with Joubert. Oh my goodness, end to end stuff. Slips it in. Cottrell rams it home. From one end to the other end. Complete flip floppage of the old football. Come on, lads. That was absolutely shambolic. Still top of the pops uh, on goal difference. Chance here, though. Petuccio with the corner whips it in there. Comes up to it. Well, you need strikes to get in there. I have fist pumping uh, off camera, boys. I have fist pumping. You could probably. I could stick the face cam on there, but there's no green screen and they look hideous. So. Um, and we do have something. That's the main reason. I don't, I don't have time to set it up and tear it down. It does take some time and it does make it look messy. Uh, so anyway, 2-1 up against the Gooners. Yes, two points clear as it stands. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if we still remain there in, ahead of the uh, the semi-final against Liverpool, which is a massive game. We are current Carabao Cup champions, so it would be great to end, it, end this series with that under our wings. Trincao, loose ball. Here comes Arsenal with Mount. Flintship picks it up. Excellent coverage. Goes down the left-hand side. Plays it in nicely. Kicked away, but here come Arsenal in again. But it's broken up by Rovers. Trincao has a shot. Josh Timmon hoofs it clear. Only as far as Nesbitt. Highlight continues. Fernandez. Williams already got one goal. Sets up Flintship. Turns and strikes. Seventh goal of the season. We are in dreamland right now. We are in dreamland. What a goal. Excellent play. William slips it into Flinchit. He can score goals. Scores when he wants, does old Jamie Flinchit. England youngster. Rovers Academy prospect come through. He's been the best player that come through our academy by a country. Our loose career was pretty decent, but Flinchit's been phenomenal. As we edge closer to the halftime whistle, there it is. With domination by Rovers in the first half. Okay, second half, Rovers kicking us off. And we we go. Chance here though for Arsenal to get themselves back in there. If they can score early, it'll be a good opportunity. And they do. Reese Nelson. What's going on, lads? This is shitty. Shitty start for the first half. Barely a minute gone. Tim and whizzes it across. Reese Nelson's wide open. And now we're on the we're on the back burner. We're on the back burner. Chance though for Rovers. We need to get that two goal cushion back, lads. I'm looking at the fitness of the players, seeing how well how well they're doing. Any below par from Strouders and Trincat have not been great. Neither is Rollhauser. But they're doing just enough just to keep keep me keep keep the whistle wet, if you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean, but uh, you, 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 hopefully you know what I mean. Just doing enough. Fernandez has dropped off a little bit. Into the final ten minutes. Just hang tight, boys. Hang tight. Oh, it's corner for Arsenal. Please don't be a pen. I don't know what happened there. A little bit of a blippage. But Rovers hanging tight into the final couple of minutes. Injury time. There is chance for a goal here, boys. And it is. It's bundled over the line. And it is Rovers making a two-goal cushion. And because of that, we're just going to throw some guys on for game time. Della Rice, you've been patient, so you can get on there. Uh, Ayala, you can have another... Uh, appearance and Lewis Gunn to shut you up from bitching and moaning. So triple subage. Rovers. Massive victory in the grand scheme of things. Trinkow with his head. He doesn't do that very often. And that is uh, job done. Rovers, I believe. There's the final. Is that the final whistle? Take your time. Keep There it is. There it is. Massive victory. Goals galore, boys. Before we take a look at the results of the rest of the stuff here, Vector Valasquez, a player has been on our books for a while, is about to join Barcelona. Could go up to as high as 30 million. Um, yeah, he's, he, he's, he never really got a chance with us with all the players that we had on the books. Uh, he's a decent player, got pace and everything, but Barcelona going to pick up a bargain. I think a, a good player for them on their books, but for us, he just, he just didn't, it wasn't his time. And after the conclusion of that set of matches, Man City go back top of the top, top of the pops after a six-nil smashing of Swansea. Main also one Liverpool were held to a draw. 
Okay, folks, uh, next up for us, it is the Carabao Cup semi-final, second leg against Liverpool. We're coming to this 2-1 down uh, after the first leg. Uh, Man City await the victors in the final, so that's going to be difficult. Uh, our record against Liverpool is not great. We've only won six times. Can we make it a seventh? Well, we'll have to uh, do it the hard way. Uh, we are going to go with a 4-4-1-1. This is not the land lineup. Uh, I am going to make a change. And Kang, you know, come in for Stroud as he picked up a niggle. Uh, Fitness-wise, Fernandez needs to come out. So, Naughty will come in, I believe. That's a good good swap. Ayala. Da, 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 da. So, I think we'll go with that guy. Lane, Petrucci, Gassix, Ruiz, Nesbitt. Maybe we'll go Ruiz. Petrucci, Gassix, Naughty, Nesbitt, Flinchett, William, Ruiz, Trincao, Kangan and Rollhauser up top. We could play like we did in the last game against Arsenal. We have a chance. Uh, a 1-0 win. We need a win. We can't draw. We have to win. So let's go. And a quick look at a very, very aggressive looking uh, Liverpool. Alexander Arnold was El Skipper, Gomez, Kier Tyranny, Becker. Those are the real players. The rest are regens and they are deadly. This guy's always scores goals against us. It is at Ewood Park. They play their reds. And of course they play in our, we play in our blue and white halves. Can we do it, boys? Let's make it to another final, please. Oh my goodness. Three shots already in the first 10 minutes by Rovers and two of them on target. So a good start. Possession is also just in our favour. But we need a goal. We need an illustrious goal. Let's, uh, let's say get creative, lads. We've got, to, we've got to kind of peel apart this difficult Liverpool side. We might not have had the best season so far. Chance here, though, for Rovers. Corner. Trincao fires it in. Ruiz tries to get on it, but it goes back out to Trincao. To William. Scored in the last game. Gets his goal in this one. And we are in front now, boys. Now it's all square. But in the back of our minds, we have that away goal. So, good job by Rovers. Uh, Trincao with the persistence. Out to William, who's hitting a good bit of form right now. With this formation. Slots it in bottom right. Bam, bins there. So, good, good chance now for Rovers. If we can get a second goal, potentially... Comes out now to Lima Rodriguez for Liverpool. Broken up though. Notty to Gasic. William picks out Flinchett. Get a cross in, son. Rollhauser with the deftest of touches makes it 2 1. And we definitely got our noses in front now. However, a goal for Liverpool would, would wipe, the, wipe the face clean and make it even Stevens. And in favour, probably pushes them uh, a little bit into their into their favour. But Flinchett with the cross. And look at that little mm, slight header. Good header. But ultimately, in the back of the net. Complete domination by Rovers in regards to chances. However, possession is 50-50 right down the middle. Second half, Rovers kicking us off. Uh, a little bit more of the same, please, boys. Don't give them a sniff because I think if they get one goal, it does flip the, the tie on its head a little bit. Chance it over Rovers to add to it. Oh, look at that! Pick that out. We're absolutely smashing them. We're smashing them, boys. 3-0 up. Trincao with the free kick. Naughty with the with the finish. A couple of flip-flops there by Allison. And now we are in cruise control. Look at the sea of green down the left-hand side here, boys. Only Ruiz, Kangin, and the keeper lane. Not getting involved. 16 shots. Seven. Oh, here we go. Chance for Liverpool. And they're in. They're back in it. They're back in it. One more goal. Puts them in, in control of the game. Oh, concentrate, you muppets. How much... You know, we've been dominant, absolutely dominating. We're FMing these boys. No, they're FM, trying to FM us. Look at the sea of green. It's gone now. Into the final 15. One more goal for Liverpool. We'll, we'll push it in their favour. It would be an absolute travesty for us to lose. And I'm not changing a single dime. Gomez, throw in. Back to Gomez. There is time for a goal here. The conclusion of this highlight will we'll decide what goes on, I feel. Trincao, come on, son. William, get in! It's a two-goal cushion once again. It's actually three goals on the day. Well done, boys. William's doing the business, boys. William is doing the business. Undroppable right now is William. That's us through, surely. Surely it's us through to the Carabao Cup final up against Manchester City. What a turnaround. 
Becca will boot this out for the final time. Addy Wood, I don't think we'll be seeing him again. Oh, no, we will. We will. We've got a F and league game against them. Uh, but anyway, 4-1 job done. Rovers into the final to defend their Carabao Cup. 5-3 on aggregate, 4-1 on the night. Rovers are there. Yep, we did overturn it, but I think it was William, the key man for me. We're off to Wembley. Flincher picked up a knock. I'll let Conway do the chatting. And uh, Rollhauser does finally score. But William is the man. Thank heavens for you, Chief Irooney. Um, that, my friends, is going to wrap up this uh, rather short episode. In the next one, uh, we'll probably be back for the Sevilla-Chelsea game. That's a, a tasty one. Uh, so we've got that one ahead. Then we'll have the Man City... Uh, oh, look at this. Man City doubleheader right here. Do we do a doubleheader or do we come back? I don't know. I don't know what we'll do here, but Sevilla, Chelsea are next, so I'll bring up to speed with the Birmingham, Huddersfield and Stoke games. Not long left as we wrap up the season. Will we make it a clean sweep? Because right now we're still on for Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup and the Carabella Cup, but there's still a lot of twists and turns to come. Up against Man City in the Carabella Cup. We've got to get past Sevilla in the Champions League and we've got to get past Huddersfield, um, sorry, Birmingham in the FA Cup. But anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you do, smash the subscribe. Uh, new videos every single day right here on the channel in some regard. I'll be back soon and with the face cam too. Till then, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.